Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Peter and in today's video we'll be talking about accuracy. There's a bunch of stuff that you can do to your air gun to improve the accuracy. I've done some tests on this gun many many times but the one question that I haven't touched yet and the one that keeps coming up again and again is does it have a positive effect on your accuracy to weigh your ammunition for your air gun? That's what we'll be testing out today. The first step in this process is to find the right ammunition. This is whether you're shooting a brake barrel or a PCP like I have here. So go through a lot of different ammunitions to see which one fits your rifle the best. I've done a test on a Gamo just a while ago where I tested nine different kinds of pellets and slugs to see how it performed in that particular gun. And if you seek inspiration, you're welcome to go back and check out that video. The ammunition that I've found to perform the best in my gun is the JSB Knockout in 13.43 grain. I've shot some decent group on 100 meters and you're also welcome to go back to my channel and check out that group. The next step is to find the right scale. There are a bunch of different uh, precision scales out there and uh, the one that I'm using for this test is this one. This is from uh, Kern and Sons and it's about 75 euros. It has a range uh, of uh, one milligram and that is the range that I'll be uh, suggesting that you use as well. The scale that I started out with was this one and it is absolutely a piece of crap. You have to recalibrate the whole time and it is hugely inaccurate. So save yourself the 20 euros and uh, go and buy a, a decent uh, scale to begin with. For today's test, I divided my slugs into eight different groups, like you can see here. I also made this so that you can see the different weight groups that uh, I've divided them into. As you can see, they uh, go from 0.863 grams and uh, up to 0.886 grams. You can see the spread on the weight groups yourself. I'm not going to read it out to you, but these are the eight groups. The column on the right is a percentage of slugs that's in each group. I think I weighed like five or six hundred slugs for this test, so it should be what you could expect if you're buying GSP knockouts. And now let's talk about the test itself. I'll be shooting six different circles. The first circle will be with the slugs that are mixed, so that, that I'll take one pellet from the first group, one from the second, and so on. And when I've filled in eight, I'll start all over again, so I'll end up with the 16 shots per circle. And after that, I'll take the target down here, measure it up, and start all over again. But this time in the second round, I'll be taking slugs from just one of uh, the groups, and that will probably be from uh, group number four, since that's the group with the most slugs. And once again, when I've shot that, I'll take the target down here, measure it up, and we'll compare the two groups. But to be sure that this is a valid test and not just uh, uh, a, a freak coincidence between the two groups I'll shoot uh, three rounds like that so number three will be with mixed slugs the next one will be from group number four the fifth round will be from the mixed slugs again and the last will be with slugs from group number four so in that way I think we'll have a reliable test if it makes any sense to weigh down your slugs the gun that I'm using for the test is this FX Impact M3. I've had it for a couple of months now and it's uh, been performing uh, very very well. Uh, I'm happy with it and um, actually it's pretty standard. The only thing that I've changed with it uh, from now is that I have a different di that I have a different moderator and I have a dual hole transfer port from Huma in here and of course with the matching uh, pin probe. The velocity that I'm shooting today is around uh, 980 feet per second, so that's pretty fast, but that's uh, the speed that I've found the gun to be the most accurate. And to be completely honest, this is my first try. I haven't uh, done any testing of this before, so I'm just as excited for the result as you are. But keep in mind, this is a test. And what's in the word test? It means that we will see if it works, not when it works. So uh, I had one guy commenting on uh, a, a test I did uh, a long time ago and he said I just wasted like uh, 12 minutes to watch this and it doesn't work. 
Well, it's not <laughs> how it works. It's uh, when you're shooting an air gun, you want to do as many tests as you can to see if you can improve your accuracy. And that's what I'm doing today. So I'm doing uh, all you guys a favor. So if this test doesn't work, of course, you're welcome to perform the test yourself. But I might just uh, save you a lot of time and a lot of money so you don't have to go out and buy uh, precision scales and, and everything. Of course, I hope that this test will uh, show out to be uh, positive and that all air gunners uh, after watching this will be uh, weighing their pellets. But let's see, it is a test, so let's see where it goes. Now the gun's been set up and we're ready to start the test. I've set up here at 75 meters or 82 yards. I decided this distance because getting closer the groups will be smaller and they will be a bit more difficult to, uh, to see the difference between uh, the weight, weighted slugs and uh, the mixed slugs. Uh, I could also go further back but because there's a bit of wind today uh, I would like to rule that out as much as possible. Because uh, there's a lot of shots to be shot today, close to a hundred shots, uh, I won't be filming uh, myself sitting here, I'll just be filming the target and I'll speed up the process so that you don't uh, spend uh, your entire day <laughs> watching me shoot uh, 100 shots. So I'll speed it up so it sounds almost like a machine gun, so that's gonna be exciting. Maybe that's an, an idea for the Impact uh, M4, hmm, I don't know. But anyway, let's start the test. And the first round is going to be with the mixed slugs. Mm. Okay, so this was uh, the first group with the mixed slugs. And it looks like this and it uh, the measurements are like this, uh, around uh, 28 millimeters. So uh, let's continue with the with the weight slugs. So this was uh, the first round with the the weight slugs, and it uh, looks like this. And the measurements are. 29 millimeters. So uh, for the first round, it looks like uh, it has the opposite effect if you weigh your slugs. But let's continue to the second round. Okay, so this is uh, the start of the second round with the this time with the mix, mixed slugs and uh, looks like this. There is one uh, up here uh, that clearly got away. I'm not, uh, not going to take that into consideration because I know that uh, I, was, uh, I was to blame for this. I pulled it. Um, but uh, anyway, the measurements are 28 millimeters again. So uh, they seem to be uh, very consistent uh, at, uh, at this uh, range. So uh, let's go into uh, second round and uh, with the weight pellets. Okay, so this is uh, the end of the second round and uh, the result uh, with the, the weight pellets looks like this. Uh, once again, there is one uh, out here that uh, kind of got away. Uh, I know it sounds uh, kind of convenient uh, if I make a bad shot, I'd just say it, it, it got away. But uh, yeah, I'm the one making the video. I'm the one who set the rules. That's great. But uh, anyway, um, measuring um, the group, uh, it was... Uh, Without this, uh, this one that got away, it's uh, 22 millimeters, and you can see the result here. Uh, actually, uh, if I did measure uh, um, the group with the one that got away, it is actually uh, 28 millimeters like the other groups. So uh, with that said, let's go into the final round with the mixed pellets first. So this is the last round with the mixed uh, slugs and uh, it looks like this 
And this time the, there are no excuses. It's all me. Um, the roof is uh, just short of uh, 31 millimeters. So uh, basically, yeah, kind of the same as uh, the other groups. Um, I must admit that uh, shooting so many shots uh, uh, kind of gets to you. Uh, I, I find it uh, kind of hard to focus uh, after shooting so many slugs. Uh, but um, maybe that's the three millimeters that you can uh, measure my tiredness by. But uh, anyway, let's get into uh, the final round with the weight slugs. So that was the last round of the grand test and the target looks like this and the result 27 millimeters. That felt nice to have the best group at last but um, yeah those are the groups they, uh, they seem to be uh, quite similar so uh, let's take a look at the, the groups next to each other and uh, draw a conclusion. Uh, the first round uh, you have here uh, with the mixed uh, 28 millimeters. Next one is uh, 29, uh, not too impressive uh, and uh, not what I was hoping for. But uh, there are a few down here. Uh, I don't know if they got away or it's just me making excuses. But uh, anyway, 28, 29, pretty much the same. Second round, first with the mixed 28 again, same as uh, in the first round. Second one with the weight slugs, they are, uh, yeah, there was the one that, uh, that got away. So uh, I, I wrote uh, 22, 28. You can uh, draw your own conclusion about that one. Uh, next one, final round, 31 millimeters. Yeah, not much to say about that one. And the last one with the weight slugs are uh, 27 millimeters. So uh, yeah, what's the conclusion? The grand conclusion, what is it? Well, actually I think that you should draw your own conclusion because uh, you've seen how I uh, performed the test and you've seen the groups. So uh, I'll, let, I'll let it uh, be up to you if uh, you think that uh, it's worth it. As for me, I think that the groups are so similar. So I don't think it really um, makes any sense to, uh, to do it. But then again, the logical part of my brain says that if you have ammunition that weighs the same, you should be more able to uh, get consistent groups. So if I'm going uh, on a hunt for the best group of my life, I think that uh, I would weigh my slugs still. But as for my daily shooting, I don't think I will. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the test. I'm sure that I did. So with that said, take care and uh, shoot safe.